Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And in case you're new, hi, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, today I came up with a video that is something obviously different again. It's a video that is directed towards us brown girls specifically. Um, I'm trying to show all the different different types of nudes that would, uh, according to me, suit us brown girls because when uh, companies and brands, makeup brands, come up with new lipsticks, they basically sh usually show it either on fair skin tones or sometimes too dark ones. So we left in the middle don't really know how it's actually going to look on us and that's why we, a lot of times we uh, mess up with our nudes. We don't really have that one nude color that we really, really love. Sometimes we have to mix the colors in. Either ways, we make it work. But here are some nudes that I have which are really beautiful nudes and I'm sure you guys are going to love it. Now, um, what I have here are a few dark browns as well because I think these will pass on like nudes as well for us. So yeah, there are many of here, so let's just jump right into it without further ado. Okay, I'm going to start with li uh, lipsticks because that's more easier to take off. So um, the first thing to start is start is with the MAC. This is the MAC Twig uh, lipstick. This is a satin finish. Your lips they tasted like those cigarettes staring at the moon. We'd go to bed in my arms, you're safe and sound without a thread, and I can't wait to see what happens next. How far can we get if we sell a little bit high? So now this lipstick lipstick actually from the Bomb Cosmetics is was one of my favorite ever nudes that I first loved ever. This is more of, I'd say, orange brown based nude. It's a matte finish and it's so comfortable on the lips. And I think it's very, very similar to the uh, MAC lip liner in Spice. So if you love this liner, you're gonna love this lipstick. And look how cute the package is like almost like MAC, but like in the silver So I really, really, really love this and in person it looks even better so I suggest you guys go buy it again by the Balm Cosmetics in the number 07. Okay so the next one I'm gonna talk about, talk about is going to be uh, moving on to liquid lipsticks. Um, you guys must have known this is coming. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about the Lolita lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. I have the small sample things but I got this long while ago and it's the last it's still lasting me a long time because I don't wear this every 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 day. But yeah this I have it in both I have both the Lolitas and the Lolita one the original one original one and then this is the number two so let's go swatch <laughs> It's definitely towards the, um, what do you call it, darker side, but it still looks really pretty on us brown girls because Okay, so I'm not getting the word, but we can really rock these dark lips as well. But this is not too dark, but I would totally wear it as a nude. This is a completely nude for me. But yeah, to many of you guys who want to really, really like nude, and Lolly Tattoo is probably one of those, so I'm going to swatch this now. Going in with the Lolly number two from Cat 1D. So this is, again, like I said, it's 
very competitive, very lighter to the Lolita one. So I guess this is for all those girls who want those light nudes. This is more of a pinky, peachy, I say peachy undertones. So yeah, pick this one up. Now going on to my next liquid lipstick, I'm gonna be swatching, keeping it under the pink undertones. I'm gonna be uh, swatching this uh, Velvet Matte. Uh, Rogue Edition Velvet. It's a matte liquid lipstick but it gives a velvet finish. This is from Bourjois in the shade, in the number uh, 12. This is definitely not nude but it's, I mean, I'd say it's slightly pinker. But we could pass that as a nude, I'm telling you guys. I know many girls are gonna be like, oh, it's not even a nude. But for me, it is. Like, you know, it's not a bold lip, okay? Just realize that angle is very weird. <laughs> okay, so you guys, this could totally pass on as nude. And I actually take it as a nude, so. And it gives you a well with finish, which actually means that it's not even gonna like give those cracks in your lips or make it, you know, over dry your lips and stuff like that. So very good product, especially it's from the drugstore. And I'm pretty sure they have a lot of nude colors, but I don't like to go that nude in nudes. So this is my favorite. The next one I'm gonna go is with the <laughs> Beeper by Colourpop. Now this is said to be a dupe for Dolce K by the uh, Kylie Cosmetics brand, but we shall see. This Beeper by Colourpop is definitely on the cool tone side, I'd say, because. But I really love this color, like, God. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly move on to my next liquid lipstick. Yes, it's a liquid lipstick. Can you guys count how many baby hairs are. Okay. So my next liquid lipstick is again my favorite. It's um, what is it? Yeah, it's uh, Ashton by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is obviously a lot towards the brown side but still really really beautiful and if you're even more tanner, like if you have a lot more uh, tan skin than I do, then this is going to look so gorgeous on you guys. This is again um, Ashton by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have another lipstick coming up, it's the Kylie, Kylie Lip Kit. Um, I lip kit in the shade Ginger. I want um, people saying that Ginger and Ashton are very similar as well already. So once that comes, I will update you on Instagram or Snapchat if you guys want that. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh my God, you guys, look at that. This is a Dolce K lip liner. What the hell, Kylie? Oh god. I hope... I didn't see this before. It never happened before. Of a acetone brown base. But Beeper is more of a mauve tool. This 
well as two brown lip not lip lipsticks, sorry. Two lipsticks. And I'm gonna show you guys how I make them work as nudes. And again, one of them is from the Balm Cosmetics and the other one is from the Bora. This is a um, drugstore brand. And both, again, the formulas is beautiful, beautiful. It could actually easily, easily be passed as a nude or a close nude. Okay, it's probably towards the brown side, okay, but it's beautiful. You guys, this is going to suit you guys. I'm telling you, you need to buy this. It's the Deborah lipstick, again. So because of all this uh, Kylie hype, I went and I got a gloss. This is the Kylie lip gloss in the shade, literally. I'm not a gloss girl, but kind of dig this. Anyway, so with this, we come to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys liked the nudes that I showed you guys or the brown lipsticks, whatever. And if you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share this video. And I'll see you guys next time.